Hello everyone, my name is Anthony and in today's video we're going to talk about the IMU which is the Inertial Measurement Unit. So what I have over here is the LPC1769 and to get the idea of all this wiring diagram as to which pin is connected to which sensor we have an accelerometer, we have a gyroscope, we have the radio and we also have connections to UART so that we can you know, take readings and display them on our host computer like the laptop. So let's go and understand what the wiring of this whole system looks like. So what we're looking at over here is, uh, just to give you an idea of what's happening. So the breadboard that we're using or the breakout board that we're using is the LPC1769 from NXP. And the way I've connected it over here is it's got a lot of pins. It's, I think it's got around 100 pins. What we have over here is the NRF2401 Plus connected to these four pins over here. So these four over here are the NRF and NRF radio modules. These two pins over here are connected to the accelerometer. The pins on top are connected to the gyroscope and then the rest is for the PWM that controls the motor control. What we have over here is the TR, TX and RX. So if I want to do some logging and I want to display it onto a screen, I can connect my pins right directly into these uh, connectors and I can see them onto the screen. Now a lot of this is all connected wirelessly through the host computer. So let's go ahead and look at a little bit about look at the code. All right, it's a little jumpy. So I am using the MCU Expresso IDE. I did mention in the previous video that, you know, that there's a lot of initialization that goes on and getting the device drivers up, which is getting the I2C up, you're multiplexing the, some of the pins have multiple purposes, but you're basically assigning them to, to either an SPI, not to a general purpose input output. And that's what a lot of the code in the beginning is. And then you initialize the accelerometer and the gyroscope, the heading angle, the tilt, and then there's, then you start to you know write some computation. So we won't go right in the details of how this computation works. We'll do that in, an, in another video. But what I want to show you over here is uh, more or less as to what's really happening under the hood in the sense that we receive a signal. So this is a while loop that we have over here. And if we receive a signal, we are able to check whether the accelerometer or the gyroscope has got any readings. This should all be processed in real time and continuously. So we're checking if there's any readings, which should always have a reading. And then we're saying, okay, let's read the gyroscope reading, read the accelerometer, read the magnetometer reading. And if logging is enabled, which is uh, connect, which is enabled through a wireless uh, sync signal, then you can print this onto the screen. And and this loop continues and continues till you enable logging or you disable logging. Now, of course, enable logging will slow the computation because writing to UART is not. I mean, it's a slow process. So what we're trying to do over here is. Uh, Minimize logging, but it's great for debugging in case you want to know whether that whether the sensors are working or if it's not So you have that provision over here. All right, so that's the high-level code um, I might share this code so that you guys can uh, work with it I have not I don't know when I will share it because it needs to be cleaned up and there's a lot of bugs in the sense that there's things that are not completely working fine and needs to be cleaned up but for the most part overall it's, it still works and if you're not using the LPC1769, then it may not necessarily be useful because a lot of the code is dependent on the hardware, at least the initialization part. The computation part can be, uh, you can extract, understand the logic and implement this in your own uh, microcontroller. So then what I do is once I get the readings, I basically open everything on in a programming tool such as MATLAB and then I try to decipher those readings making sense of how it's working and how it's not, how whether the readings make sense or not. So to give you an idea, I do have a, 
my plots over here and the plot will tell me how what and I generally get these plots after I play around with the with the quadcopter And I change it with different angles and different poses to see whether there's any change. And then it gives me a good idea of whether, you know, we're pitching or we're rolling. Those are the mo those are the two main axes that I'm measuring. There's the also heading, which is basically when you want your quad copper to move this way. So there's the roll, there is the pitch, and then there is the heading. And uh, right now I'm only focusing on the roll and then the pitch because uh, heading is all depends on the magnetometer. You can also get a heading angle based on the GPS reading, and we don't have GPS connected as of now to this particular microcontroller, which I do have a GPS, but I'm not connected to it yet. And in the next video, we'll explain a little bit more about how these graphs work, how can we apply some form of filtering algorithms, such as Kalman filtering or complementary filter, to really understand what's happening, and, and even to understand what the gyroscope and accelerometer actually do. So this reading is more about the embedded, this video is more about the embedded connections. Next video will go a little bit more into detail as to understanding what the accelerometer, what the gyroscope actually does. All right.